Disorientated and dehydrated, these migrants have just been deported by Algerian border guards and dumped in neighboring Niger. The nearest village is a 15-kilometer walk in the Sahara Desert, and they have no food or water. The UN Migration Agency says Algeria has expelled an estimated 13,000 migrants in this way in the last 14 months. Janet Kamara, who's Liberian, was pregnant when she was deported last month. She suffered a miscarriage while walking in the desert. She buried her baby in a shallow grave in the sand. We lost our baby. Her baby was killed. Women were lying dead, men, because there's no water, no food, starvation, children, kids and all. A lot of people got wounded. A lot of people got missing in the desert because they didn't know the way. Another Liberian, Ju Dennis, filmed his deportation from a detention center in Algeria. This is where they have more than 5,000 Africans, sub saharan being kept. Together with a group of other migrants, they were loaded onto trucks and driven across the border to Niger. I'm reporting live from the desert between Algeria and uh, Niger. And as you can see, this is the convoy going over there. And it's a massive convoy, massively deporting blacks to a no man's land where anything can happen. You got women and children into these, into these trucks. Some migrants are rescued by a team like this one from the UN Migration Agency. Others die trying to make it across the desert. They come by the thousands. I've never seen anything like it. There are even babies. They even expel pregnant women, women who give birth one or two weeks later. It's a catastrophe. The Algerian government denies committing human rights abuses. It's ratified international treaties on human rights. And this was the Algerian Red Crescent last year, helping to transfer migrants to their home countries. The European Union has asked North African countries to do more to stop migrants headed north to Europe. The EU says it is aware of the mass deportations and says Algeria needs to comply with international law. Many of these migrants say their experience proves otherwise. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.